three, two, one. We have ignition, we have liftoff, liftoff of Columbia in mission 61C, and the shuttle has pulled the power. Major General Charles F. Bolden Jr. has launched into space aboard Columbia, Discovery, and Atlantis. Twice as a shuttle pilot, twice as mission commander. Now, after a lifetime of service and achievement, he's risen to the top position as the administrator of NASA. Bolden is the first African American to lead the space agency and has been inducted into the Astronaut Hall of Fame. But before Bolden was an astronaut, or even a Trojan, he was a Hawk, a proud member of Marine All-Weather Fighter Attack Squadron 533 stationed in Thailand, where he flew over 100 combat sorties in 1972 and 73, and went on to become a test pilot, clocking over 6,000 flight hours in his decorated career. Bolden considers his 34 years in the Marine Corps among his proudest achievements. I am a graduate of the Naval Academy. Um, I went to graduate school at the University of Southern California. I am a Marine. I'm still a Marine. We're privileged to wear the uniform of the United States Marine Corps, and I think we wear it today, one way or another. Uh, so I'm a very proud Marine. In 1977, while still on active duty, Bolden earned a Master's of Science degree in Systems Management from USC, now a part of the Viterbi School of Engineering. What is it about, about Earth that keeps us from being able to do lots of things sometimes? What's the big factor in on gravity. gravity. What does gravity do? It keeps us on the ground. Throughout his distinguished career, Bolden has always taken time to visit elementary schools. It's his mission to inspire the next generation of scientists. If I go to a classroom today, it's different than when I went when I was an astronaut in 1980. I could ask, how many of you want to be an astronaut? And every hand went up in the class. When I go to a school today and ask that question, I may see three hands. Bolden and the White House are working to change that. Our focus is really trying to help the president with his STEM initiative, uh, trying to help with um, his desire to, to produce uh, the most number of college graduates we've ever had in 2020. And NASA is a very important part of that. Well, this is really cool. It's like a once in a, in like a lifetime opportunity, and it's so exciting to get to come to see NASA. We've got some great things that we have to do, and uh, because the nation deserves it, and my three granddaughters deserve it. Because Bolden knows he's had a privileged view out the space shuttle window, and it's changed his perspective. I saw the beauty of the Middle East appearing peaceful and serene, in spite of its earthly reality of violence in that region. I viewed with sadness. The majestic Amazon rainforest, considered a model of serenity and peace, yet devastated by deforestation. His space flights included gathering critical climate and atmospheric information during the mission to planet Earth STS-45 in 1992. And in 1990, in STS-31, Bolden helped launch the Hubble Telescope, our window on the universe, which opened all of our eyes to just how much we have left to learn and the rewards of pursuing it. I want to go to Mars. I think everybody wants to go to Mars. That is a place, you know, but that is not a destination. We are explorers. Uh, we have always been that way. 